Hey guys, this is John from Walkthrough Code. Uh, so today we're going to talk about components. Uh, in the last lecture we talked about services and how useful they are. Um, but yeah, this time we're going to talk about components. So if you look in the directory panel over here, you'll notice that I created this post list folder with a post list dot component. Let's just open this up dot js and then a post list dot html. When you start um, when you start coding uh, with components and stuff, this is kind of the generally accepted way to uh, have your file structure. Um, you could totally do a bunch of controllers and a bunch of services each in, you know, like in your controllers folder and a in a directives folder and a services folder. But in all reality, this is really just the more easy way to look at it. Some people may disagree, but that's in my humble opinion, with all of the uh, component-based architecture uh, framework coming out, this really is just kind of the, uh, the best way to do it. So I took the liberty of go ahead and going ahead and creating those ahead of time, but let's go ahead and refactor this to make it exactly, or do exactly what it was doing before, but using a components. And what we're going to do is we're, gonna, we're going to refactor this post list into here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut that out and we're going to or cut our list out more specifically and then paste it in our post list.html. Now that's going to leave us nothing in here, but we'll go ahead and add what we need in there in a second. Uh, the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this main service.get posts and we're going to get rid of we're going to cut this and then we'll save it and we'll go to post list.component.js. So here there's, there's another kind of generally accepted way to do this, uh, especially with uh, John Papa and the style guide and stuff like that. So you have your function declaration. So now we're going to write the controller uh, in essence. So we're going to say posts, um, posts, list, posts, lists, list controller. And then down below here is where we're going to do our um, our Angular uh, reference. So we're going to say app dot uh, component, and then we're going to call this posts list. So you'll notice that I'm typing it differently here, but it translates out to it goes from camel case to snake case. Uh, so this is camel case, and then this is snake case. But we can't really use this. In JavaScript, so we do this instead. It'll work in a string, but that's besides the point. So this is the generally accepted way to do this. Then we have a, a component, and rather than a callback function, all a component is it's actually just an object. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to include our template, which is our HTML file in here. So we're going to say template URL, and then we're going to have um, it's going to be relative to index.html, so we'll say posts-list forward slash posts-list.html. And then the second thing we're going to have is we're going to have a controller, controller, <laughs> controller, and that's going to be our posts list controller. Um, the third thing, and this is just for continuity's sake, but there's also something called a controller as. It defaults to dollar sign CTRL, but here, just to keep it the way that we had before, we're going to do uh, VM. So in here, we will have um, uh, var VM equals this, and then below here, we're going to inject the service. So we'll say main service, so we can get a hold of that HTTP thing, and then we'll copy paste this. And now we have access to all of this stuff. Um, but we're going to hit a snag here in a minute. But we'll let's go back in here and let's below this button, let's put let's put our newly created component in there. And to do that, we're going to say posts that dash list and turn it into an element, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and open open index.html. And we're going to see that we don't, don't have anything coming up here, but let's bring up the console. Um, we have no errors in the console, which means that we're 
missing. Ah, yes. So we have forgotten uh, to put the uh, newly created component in the script tag. So we have to put this posts list component there. So we'll say posts list uh, post post list oops post list dot component dot js. Cool. Um, and that should fix that. Okay, good. So here's the error that I was looking for. So we have this HTML, uh, H, or XML HTTP request that's saying that cross-origin requests are only supported for protocol schemes. So there's a core error here. Um, what's happening is in this, it's making a, it's making an, uh, an XHR request uh, for this, and Chrome is like, I, I'm not going to have that. So the best way to do this is through this. Um, there's a couple things you can use. You can use HTTP-server if you have it. Uh, live dash server. Um, if you haven't done this before, uh, install node, uh, node.js, go to node.js.org and install that. And then in the command line, uh, for Mac and Linux at least, um, or if you go into your git bash and Windows, you can run, um, uh, in Windows you don't need to use sudo, but for uh, Mac and Linux you need sudo npm install dash g live server and that'll go ahead and install that for you I already have it so I don't need to install it however we can do uh, if you just type live dash server inside the directory that you want to serve it'll go ahead and pop up a new window and look it will work just fine we have no errors um, it'll allow the browser uh, it will allow us to serve that stuff up um, so we are going to go more in depth into components later. I think I didn't uh, didn't even think about that until I realized that you could um, that you could pipe things in uh, pipe values into components and then um, you know have uh, events fire and stuff like that. So we'll talk about that in a, in a later video. Uh, however, for now, that's that pretty much shows how to use uh, components in the most basic form. Um, they're super, super useful, um, and the component-based architecture is is phenomenal, and it really is the future of web development. So um, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave a comment in the area below. Um, if, you, um, if you wouldn't mind, please, please like and or subscribe this if you feel the need. And um, if you'd like to have, if you'd like to get a hold of me on social media, my, the easiest way to get a hold of me is with my Twitter handle, which is John A Two, J O H N A Two. Awesome. Well, I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, and have an awesome day.